What's going on, y'all? My name is Jay Ray, and welcome to Jam Reviews and Opinions. And today, I'm talking about uh, E3 and the fact that it is dying, and the proof is staring us right in the face. Uh, five years ago, uh, Nintendo left to destroy their whole Direct series and all that. Now, this year for our E3 2019, Sony is no longer appearing. Sony's out of the question. They're not doing E3 this year. Uh, not this year, next year. In a statement made to Variety, uh, Sony says, As the industry evolves, Sony Interactive Entertainment continues to look for innovative opportunities to engage the community. According to the state, uh, engage the community. PlayStation fans mean the world to us, and we always want to innovate, and think different, innovate, think differently, and experiment with new ways to delight gamers. As a result, we have decided not to participate in E3 in 2019. We are exploring new and familiar ways to engage our community in 2019. In 2019, and can't wait to share our plans with you. That only means death for E3. With Nintendo leaving, a lot of people started. They said, "No, Nintendo's going to do horribly. E3 is where you launch everything, where you say everything." Well, if you don't remember this past E3, Walmart leaked a ton of new games: Forza Horizon 4, and those called Horizon 5. Uh, there was there was a bunch of other ones out there. Right, but Forza Horizon 4 was a big one I remember. Well, because I really wanted to been playing it, but they leaked a ton of huge games. There were so many games leaked that E3 just felt more like a confirmation of these games are coming out, this is happening, and not like we are revealing games. We've already got the titles in our head. We already know what, what's going to come out. We just don't know how it's going to play, everything like that. Other than that, we knew nothing other than titles. And... That was it. That started, like, a lot of people saying, E3's gone. It's gone. I mean, even though I still know E3 was not as good as th this year as it could have been, there was still a lot that I just went, whoa, I didn't see this coming. It came out of the dark. And the only games we didn't get the leak on were Nintendo. Anything that related to the Nintendo Switch was not on that leak. But that's what started the whole E3 is dead. It is going to die. It is going away. And a lot of people have been saying this for a long, long time. Uh, a lot of, especially, uh, I know since I started watching E3 back in 2016, uh, they've been saying it. Nintendo dropped out in 2013. They dropped out and started their whole directors. Now, Sony's dropped, dropped out. They're going to find a new way to do this, a new way. And I kind of like that. It's, Nintendo, they have a direct for E3, but they still record it. They still do everything like it would be a normal direct. It's just, this is E3, we're going to put something out during this time, showcase what we're going to put out until the next direct. And that's what they did. That's what they did last year. That's what they've done every year. The directs are awesome. They are amazing. Now, uh, Sony also has their own, like, uh, uh, experience, PlayStation experience. And they're not doing that again this year. They're not doing that in 2019. And in a statement to Variety, they also they said, now that we've have, we have Spider-Man out the door, we're looking down and down in 2019 to games like Dreams and Days Gone, but we won't have enough to bring people all together in the same location in North America to have that event. We don't want to set expectations really high and then not deliver on it. Yeah, that sets. There's just so much. Uh, if, if any of you guys know Sonic Forces, that was just like the hype shit was just so high up there. And then their expectations were so high. And then it was never... That it was just... The game was just so short. It was like... You could complete it in like four hours even if you didn't know what you are doing. The game was just horrible all around. I mean, the controls were pretty good. That was the graphics. That was and the music. That was about all it was good out of it. The controls, the graphics, and the music. That was it. But <clears throat> so with my with with Nintendo and now Sony out of E3, E3 slow. It's just gonna. They're just going to go down the drain. They're going to stop. They're gonna. It's gonna. I mean, it's the first time in uh, 24 years of E3 and Sony. That this is happening. This is this is the first time in 24 years that Sony is not going to be at E3. If I remember correctly, they're at E3 at the first E3 in 1995. If I remember correctly, they're at the first with the PlayStation. Other than that, they've always other than that they've always been there. They've always been at E3. 
Now in 24 years, we're not going to have them. And if you guys remember this past E3, Sony took whatever, and this was going around for just about everyone. Microsoft took all your money. Sony took what was left, and then all the other developers took what was left after that. Nintendo was one of the developers that took all after after Microsoft and then Sony. It depends on how you on who you like. I know some people were like PlayStation was better, some people were Nintendo was better, some people Xbox was better. Even if you didn't have an Xbox, they still got your money because you're like, I wanted to play those games. I don't have an Xbox, now I gotta go buy an Xbox, boom, there's money out of my wallet. E3 2019 may not have the same fr- fl- flair, may not have the same heart as it did in 2018, and 2016, and 2017, and 2015. It may not have the flair that it's had in the past. But there's so many things coming out around E3, so many game leaks that E3 has started to become more of, this has been confirmed we're getting this game, but this is what it's going to be about other than that. This is the prize and all this. Other than that, I mean, even Sega quit E3. I don't think they've ever done an E3. If they have, it was before I can remember, so. But even Sega's not even doing E3. They have like their own like little... We're just gonna put this game out, and the the developers that do E3, they can make make a video, they can do their own little thing with it or whatever. That's fine. That's what a lot of these in, like developers like Sega do. Atari, I think they're still doing a few games. I don't know. They're they're kind of like buried in the ground now. But there's so many developers and stuff. I mean, Markov hasn't pulled out yet. They've been to every E3 since they launched the Xbox. I think they revealed Xbox the launch of the Xbox at E3. So, there you go. But, E3 is slowly just dying. It's dying so slowly that if you're starting to watch E3 this year, in 2018, you wouldn't realize it was dying in 2019 and on. If you've been watching since the first one, you know it is dying or dead, or it's just been dead so long that we're still using it, but it's usefulness has already run its course. It's no longer useful. It's like an it's like a TV show that's been running for so long that people just quit watching it and it's just done. It's just like one of those things. So uh without further ado, uh thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video please hit the like button down below. If you're new here subscribe and hit the bell icon so you know when I upload. Thanks for watching and uh bye.